Watch NASA Perseverance rover land on Mars. It has been a long time since there has been a Mars landing. However, the Perseverance rover landing has shaken things up considerably and comes from a reignition of space exploration. While there was a long period of simply observing distant stars and planets, recently there has been a movement for better observation of environments like Mars and the Moon. These projects have given us all sorts of new information that we didn't know before. In this video, we'll go over what makes the Perseverance rover so interesting and why NASA has decided to send another rover to Mars. There are some really fascinating new technologies that the Perseverance will utilize during its mission. But before we start the video, don't forget to like and subscribe, and be sure to watch to the end for some bonus content. Okay, let's get started. What is the Perseverance going to do? The Perseverance is the newest, most technologically advanced rover that we have sent to Mars. As such, it has some of the most robust functions, which also give it the most responsibility. There are four goals that the Perseverance aims to achieve. The first is to look for habitable areas. As you probably could have guessed, the surface of Mars is a very hostile and inhospitable place for pretty much all forms of life. The atmosphere is thin, only about 9% as dense as Earth's atmosphere, and there isn't much water on the majority of the planet. The majority of the atmosphere is carbon dioxide. Temperatures can vary wildly, and storms ravage the surface on a fairly constant basis. However, that does not mean that life cannot exist on Mars. One of the Perseverance's goals is to find environments that used to be capable of supporting life in the past, with a focus on microbial life. The second goal hones in on the first, to seek signs of past life in these environments. From previous research, we know some of the places on Mars are theoretically capable of preserving signs of life. Not the life itself, just the signs. However, the signs are enough. All we're looking for is confirmation that life could have been on Mars. Its third goal is to collect rock and soil samples and store them safely. And perhaps the biggest shot in the dark of a goal is it has to test oxygen production levels from the thin Martian atmosphere. Seven minutes of terror. Landing a spacecraft is difficult business. It's made even more difficult on Mars, where there are seven minutes of terror where ground control cannot make any adjustments to the rover's flight course and landing. It's called this because if there is some miscalculation anywhere at all, the whole mission is shot. If the heat shield did not deploy or the parachute did not open, the entire mission would be lost. Considering the journey to Mars took about seven months in the first place, this truly was the most harrowing time to be a NASA scientist. However, luckily, nothing went wrong with the landing. Rocket engines were used to slow the Perseverance descent as well as a parachute on top of that. Going from 12,000 miles an hour to zero is an impressive feat, and one only made possible by the scientists and researchers capable of very precise calculations. In fact, this was the most precise landing on Mars to date. Using the data from Curiosity's landing and new steering technology, the Perseverance was able to safely touch down. One of these new steering technologies was terrain relative navigation a technique where the Perseverance compares images taken on the fly during its descent with a database of reference maps, and compares them to each other to correct its course and even safely land in otherwise hazardous terrain. This allowed the Perseverance to land closer to some more dangerous areas, like craters, which saves time driving through Mars. The Ingenuity The most interesting thing about the Perseverance rover could be its passenger, a small helicopter called Ingenuity. This helicopter doesn't have any scientific tools for observation other than a camera, but is capable of something other rovers aren't, aerial visibility. While some pictures of the surface of Mars have been taken from previous rovers as well as satellites, the Ingenuity will be able to scout ahead and make sure the path the Perseverance is taking is clear. This is huge, as it can potentially save a lot of time and mitigate risk for the rover, as unknown terrain can be dangerous to the surprisingly fragile machine. The Ingenuity is a bit of a risky move though, as it may not be able to survive the extremely low temperatures due to its small size. If it's able to survive its first few nights though, it will take flight, communicating to Earth via the Perseverance. Tech Details The Perseverance uses a radioisotope thermoelectric generator, or RTG for short, as its power source. It's a simple nuclear generator that can provide a small amount of power for a very long time. On the Perseverance, it's used to charge a lithium-ion battery that is the true power source of the rover. 
the radioactive isotope used has a half-life of nearly 88 years and decays by just under 0.8% every year in power output. While this form of power isn't really efficient, having power efficiency of around 10%, it's extremely reliable and much more reliable than solar panels for rovers, which have been known to get covered in dust in the past. However, the Ingenuity is still powered by solar as it does not need the constant, reliable power output required by the Perseverance. But the RTG allows engineers and scientists to work with the rover through the nights, winters, and dust storms of Mars, where solar is a bit riskier. The rest of the Perseverance was designed to be a bigger, better Curiosity rover. It has more robust wheels covered in cleats. Its robotic arm is longer and stronger than Curiosity's and has a new rock sampling and caching system. However, it's also a fair bit heavier than the Curiosity was, coming in at 2,260 pounds. Some of the instruments on the Perseverance include a radar imager, dynamic analysis tools for temperature, wind speed, pressure, and more, a tool to convert CO2 to oxygen, a spectrometer, cameras, microphones, and more. The Journey The plan for the Perseverance is to visit a few areas near the Jezero Crater, one of the most interesting places it's going to visit is near the Neretva Valise Delta. This will give us a good look at some of the geology on Mars and what caused the delta in the first place. It will also eventually climb to the Jezero Crater Rim to get a better look at the surroundings of the crater from the surface. There is a lot of work to be done focusing on some of the aspects like weather analysis and geology. The Perseverance is also going to be key in future missions to Mars, and some of its more experimental features could be truly groundbreaking for space exploration and could pave the way for a manned mission to Mars. The key there will be if its experimental oxygen converter is effective. It may even discover fossils or traces of microbial life on Mars. And while that's unlikely, it's definitely exciting to think about. Thanks for watching the video so far. We hope you've enjoyed these neat facts about the Perseverance rover. And we've got one secret coming up just for you. Leave a like if you liked the video and subscribe for more content coming up soon. Bonus, secret code. On the parachute of the Perseverance, there was a strange pattern. It didn't quite make sense to most people at first, but it was eventually discovered to be a code of some kind and Twitter users went to work about deciphering it. It wasn't long before people were able to decipher the message from NASA systems engineer Dr. Ian Clark. It was a binary code, hiding the GPS coordinates for the NASA Jet Propulsion Laboratory as well as a quote from Theodore Roosevelt, Dare Mighty Things. It's the unofficial motto of the Jet Propulsion Lab and is certainly relevant on the Perseverance. The most ambitious mission to Mars yet, the Perseverance is a mighty thing indeed. Thanks for watching our video. Looking for more? Check out this playlist. Be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so that you don't miss more videos by us. We've got two more tech videos like this one coming up soon. What fascinates you the most about the Perseverance rover? What exciting new discoveries do you think it will make? Let us know what you think with a comment down below. If you liked the video, feel free to leave a like. Anyway, we'll see you in the next video. Take care.